This is part 3 of how to all-wheel drive your Mark 1 Golf. I would recommend you to watch the first videos of how to all-wheel drive your Mark 1 Golf. If you haven't already, the link is in the description. So now comes the question, do you use the Synchro subframe or will you use a Mark 4 subframe or a newer one? I will be talking about using the Synchro subframe in this video. This is how you mount the Synchro subframe to the Mark 1 chassis. You can make your own mount, you can fabricate or weld in the mounts from the Mark 2 Mark 3 chassis. Or you can buy some, I will leave a link in the description. So I made my own, I measured the Mark 1 mounts and I measured the Mark 2 mount. I made a drawing of how I wanted it to be and I cut and welded it. Let me show you how it looks. Depending on your mount, you may need to cut into the chassis in order to make room for the subframe and the wishbone, like I've done here. On the rear of the synchro diff, there is a mount going from the diff up to the chassis. You will need to make this rear mounting point for the chassis yourself. And since I'm using the Haldex system, I also use the Haldex bracket on the rear of the differential. And I made some custom mount from this bracket to the chassis. Since I'm using the Haldex system, I've done some mods to the subframe to make the differential fit. And I will talk about this in a later video. If you are using the Synchro system, you could also, of course, use the Synchro CV axles in the rear. If you are using the Haldex system, you will need to change the inner joints on the CV axle to make it fit the Haldex. Or you can buy some. I will leave a link to this in the description. When it comes to making the exhaust, you will need to make it yourself all the way from the turbo in the front to the rear. Or you can make like a hood exit or side exit or something. Because there is no place you can buy exhaust for these cars when you go all wheel drive. When it comes to the suspension and the rear, you need to go custom. Either you can raise the strut tower or you need to buy some custom coilovers. I've gone with some custom coilovers from KW. They are V3 racing competition and they are specifically made for this exact car. I will leave some notes in the description to some alternatives to this solution. And on my last note, I know it doesn't look pretty, but you will need to move your tank and go with some kind of fuel cell like I've done. This is because the stock fuel tank is directly in the way of where the drive shaft from the front to the rear is going. And I think that's it for, for this video. This is the end of my notes. I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching. Till next time, have a good one.